Truly. All right, everybody, we are back in the house, continuing the second half of our stream. Earlier, we did a VR stream, Reality Bites, with A Fisherman's Tale by Vertical Games. It was a very, very charming um, experience. Uh, charming, I feel like, is like the best descriptor for it. Um, beyond, you know, being immersive, but it was a puzzler where you kind of... Um, the music is very loud for this game. I'll cut that down for now. Um, but it, it was a puzzler where you kind of have like a puppet and then a model and then a larger, like the inception of reaching into the model and manipulating things and exchanging items between each other. Uh, so it's an environmental puzzle. Um, man, now, now that I think about it, like the best experience... One of the best experiences I've had on in VR was another puzzler called Torn, which uh, I will drop the review for that in chat. But um, it was a, it was a different kind. This one you're moving a lot of wires around, but it was such a blast. Like the music was so good, the visuals were top tier. Um, yeah, in chat you can see that. Uh, Crabs, are you back with us? I'm here uh, trying to figure out the how to get matched up with you. I don't know if we have to be in a park. Let me get this back going. All right. I know how to get the party stuff together. I'll get back in there in just a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, A Fisherman's Journey was uh, an absolute treat. Uh, I'm looking forward to finishing that up on the next Reality Beat uh, Bites uh, stream. For the people that aren't familiar, this is going to be our Wednesday stream uh, every Wednesday. Um, you're going to have me starting things out with a VR game and then switching over to non-VR. Sometimes, the, the depending on how I feel, the whole VR experience will run through the entire stream. But for the most part, we'll switch back and forth to give myself a little bit of rest because... Um, Playing in VR can be taxing uh, sometimes. This wasn't so taxing, uh, but I do appreciate getting to step away for a second and play uh, something else and, and sit my fat ass down. But, all right, so let's jump back into this. So these are just the messages. You know, I really ought to get some potted plants in here. Brighten this place up. And social. Do I need to be inside the javelin? No. Because we can go through Tarsus individually, but still while in the same party, in the same squad. All right, looks like I'm in your square. Yep, you in there. All right, so right now we are in Fort Tarsus. Um, I'm level seven, Krabs. I think you're what, like level two or three? Something like that. Sit here and watch. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start an expedition. Might be a little tough for you because I'm a bit higher level. But, uh, and yeah. all around better person. Oh, that's not true. That's not true at all. <laughs> yes, Lucci, we playing a little anthem. Have you tried the game yourself? What's your take? Um, anybody in chat, I would like to know what y'all's feeling, what y'all's feelings on anthem are so far. All right, you're readied up. So good. All right, ready up one more time, Krabs. No, not really ready interested. Up. Is it the genre or the specific game that you're not interested in? I'm curious to know. Because there's a lot of contention out there about Anthem. Maybe he's played the last five Bioware games. Oh, hey, -o. hey, -o. <laughs> shout out to the people well, that have stuck one, around for the stream. We robot. appreciate y'all. Yeah, what'd you say? This one got this robots. Game has robots. Yeah, we went from puppets, VR puppets, to robotic mannequins, essentially. I don't know if this game is going to have a beard as sweet as what we just experienced. No, it won't. It definitely won't. Just don't feel like I'll like it. I hear you. Come. Tassin has given us the last location where he made contact. 
I don't want the game sounds to be too loud because you got to hear our wonderful voices. Mm -hmm. well, let me know if the balance is too off, everyone that is currently watching, lurking, listening while at work. Okay, this we're doing the first quest for you, Crabs, I think. Oh, wait, no, this is the one from the demo. Did you do any of the demo crafts? Uh, yeah, well, it was on a few of the alphas or whatever. I don't know if I played the demo. At least it feels like they've somewhat fixed the mouse control since I played, which is... Yeah, um, I didn't play when it was apparently really rough in the alpha. Anything else I should know? The, um... Mouse controls, but I've seen people talk about it, and they like how much it has improved. Yeah, it used to basically just be a mouse trying to emulate a control stick. Oh, goodness. Oh, what you're currently seeing on your screen is my baby blue and pink Colossus. Because, you know, I gotta aggro all the enemies and draw attention, so what better way to do it than with a baby blue and pink mech? Or exosuit, rather. Hey, you a thick boy. Yes, sir. True to life. close Lucci this is not free to play no it is a full price game we're currently playing it or at least I am via uh, EA origin access something yeah that service with eight names <laughs> yeah it gives you it gave uh, some people early access to the game If anyone else has any questions, feel free to ask away. But uh, the classes I'm using, of course, it is the defensive unit, the tanky unit out of the collection. You have the ranger, which is what I believe Krabs is using currently. Which is the standard. Uh, the storm, which is like the wizard mage of the group. Manipulating weather, calling down lightning and such. Pretty powerful. But squishy. Uh, and then there's the. Dang it. I can't remember the name of it, but it's the more agile one of the bunch. That kind of goes around and does combos. Uh, melee combos. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to buy it, so I didn't even bother to try it. Understood. What games you got on, on the docket? Kind of curious. Boom! I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to the big boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if there's PVP or not, Lucci. Uh, no, there's not. That's already confirmed. No PVP at all. All right. Boom time. Uh, what game is on the docket for you? What, what games are you looking forward to? What are you recent? What did you recently start playing? The flying in this is undeniably sweet. Wait, found 
And I don't know if it was you or someone else that made the jokes about it, but they they got their Iron Man tech down. They need to just go ahead and pivot to an Iron Man game. I'd be here for it. I'm playing Darkwood and looking for some light adventure game. Hey man, Darkwood is freaking dope. I had it very early on in its early access. If I'm thinking about the correct game. That game is scary as shit. I love the design of it though. Are you familiar with Darkwood Crabs? I am not. Oh shit. I'm out of ammo. It's basically like a top-down uh, twin-stick horror game. If I'm thinking of the right game, uh, but it's not—it's not a twin-stick shooter like that pace. Uh, it's slow and methodical, like you would expect from uh, a horror game, and more of a more like twin-stick survival. I think that's the best way. Slayer Bill, what's up? I'd suggest Astroneer. That one is already in the books for me. It's a hot game. Mm -hmm. This game's got pretty good weather tech. It does. It's cool, but I just started. Got it. I didn't make it so far that I could spoil anything. Plus, I didn't play it until, like, I mean, not until, but I played it way, way back, and I'm sure it's changed a great deal. And yes, I am too chicken for it, but it was so fascinating that I couldn't uh, avoid grabbing it and trying it out. Slayer Bill has officially done it for Shaq News with the bits. Thank you very much. Make it drizzle. He is the drizzle king. Unactivated Steam gift. <laughs> we'll activate it and play some Astroneer. Krabs has been doing some incredible work in Astroneer. I saw you. I think you hit some kind of alien construct. Yeah, well, we you were nearly suffocated. And found some wild shit. What did you find? I don't want to spoil it. Oh. Let's say it's wild shit. Hashtag officially off the. Once we clear this group out, I'm going to change our data on uh, Twitch on the bash dashboard. Where are these boys? Alright, let me go change that. How come assistant robots are always British? Oh, that doesn't look like a repair. You just let me. Ugh, damn it. Hang on, we've got company. Can it be fixed? Yes, of course. Just deal with the scars, I'll figure it out. Uh, Lucci, I don't currently have Astroneer as a Steam gift. Respawn restricted. Alright. Does Steam still allow you to buy things and dump them in your inventory? As gifts? Yeah, I think they stopped I don't think that. So. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I was actually going to buy a gift um, earlier, and I don't think there was an option to do that. Was it for me? It was not. Um, I think you already own Dying Light. That's true. 
Boom time. The game is super dope. It's it's amazing. Um, it's celebrating its four year anniversary, I believe. And um, I tweeted about it and was like, uh, it's easily one of the best games of this generation. No doubt about it for me. And uh, I convinced a friend to give it a shot. We're gonna do the co-op. And I'm kind of looking forward to playing it again. If you need a third or a fourth, hit me up. Oh, definitely. That one, uh, we're definitely gonna have to do some co-op streams of that before the second one comes out. I love the following expansion. Yeah, man. It is, it is really, really, really good. I love grappling across those buildings. Get up the ante. Having that grappling hook, just it changed the experience so much. In a good way. It was just, just a different way. Because playing without it, I feel like it's a completely different experience. Did you stay out at night a lot when you play your crafts? Uh, depends on how I was geared. Looks like the video on the stream is coming through pretty crisp. That's good. Friggin' thing on here looks like a looks like a Zaku, or no, more like a Guff from Mobile Suit Gundam. I'm sorry for anime discussion scribes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Crabs, if you had a javelin, what kind of decals would you put on it? The uh, Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes being on a four. I don't know. Keeping it, keeping it a little redneck, just a little bit. You know me. <laughs> Those little seeker mines are annoying. I've yet to hit an enemy at all with either of my abilities because I can't figure out how to aim or grenades and stuff. I'm not learning the uh, arch on those yet. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Boom. That was nice. Gifts are rare and there are collectors who want them. I gotta back off. Almost out of health. Oh! Got a teammate now. I'll get you up, buddy. Also, Krabs, have you played Apex at all? Yeah, a few rounds. I gotta find some ammo. I don't have any ammo. There's some... Um, uh, 
Shoot, 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 shoot. We gotta go destroy that freaking thing, cause uh, we're not doing a lot of damage here. There we go. And I'm down. Critical failure, but I did destroy the spawn for them, so at least we'll be okay in that regard. Come on, guys. Help me out, guys. Takes about 75. Yeah, you, you cut out on me. I think your uh, gate's pretty high. I'm sorry. I'm uh, trying to push the talk, but all I hear is screaming in the background because... <laughs> the dogs, uh, they are letting it be known that they are frustrated and disappointed. Shit. I'll get you up. Explosive. You're saying it takes how many shots to do what? It's taking an entire hundred round belt to put down one of these enemies. Yeah, I've, that's that's definitely because I've brought you into a higher level mission than you're supposed to be in. Sorry, it took me so long to get you up. I was just kiting. Nah, it's all good. Everybody was down. I just read that after finishing the game, you start all over, but on harder difficulties. Is he talking about Astroneer? Is that how that works? Uh, I don't know anything about that. I don't think there is a difficulty now. <coughs> Alright, which game are you talking about there, Luchi? Wrecking these here, boys. BB! I definitely need better weapons, though. Come on through that portal, get this work. If I could shoot the seeker mines before they explode. Be careful. Yeah, they definitely have bars of health. Watch out, y'all. a bit too early. And my sound just killed out of me. Yeah, that's definitely a glitch that people have been dealing with. 
but I don't think they just they have a day one patch that's coming. They won't Nobody actually come until day six. <laughs> It seems ridiculous to launch your game so many days early ahead of your supposed launch. Yeah, even with all these video game. access, origin access, premium. Yeah. Pay extra money to do final beta testing on our game. Hit that weak spot. I'll aggro him. Yeah, light them up. Teamwork makes the dream work. He's talking about Anthem. You start over with the harder difficulty? I didn't Man, know that. This is a Diablo shooter. That's kind of the core conceit of every one of these games. Anyway, yeah, because you have, what, three levels of difficulty that get unlocked? Uh, I'm not really sure about this one in specific, but that's... No, it is. Uh, I don't know why I presented that like a question, but that's that's yeah. true. Um, three levels of difficulty unlock after you finish, um, once you reach level 30. Yeah, the game is mostly just about acquiring better loot, and then having that power creep go up as you come across slightly yep. higher numbered over and over and over. But if the game's like, you know, this type, if you like the gameplay loop, then obviously you'll get to dump a ton of hours into these. And, uh, there's a lot of stuff like this. Borderlands counts, Destiny, The Division, obviously Diablo, Destiny games are all this uh, genre. Yeah, looter shooters. It is fun to play. The gameplay is cool. The, the the gunplay is okay. I like flying the most out of anything. Um, I'm sure as we get further along that we'll be staying in action a whole lot longer. Um, that is one thing I don't like so far is that you know I'm taken out of the action so frequently. But keep in mind I'm level seven. This is early, and we're we're doing a mission for the the even earlier level guys. Guys and gals. Pilot level increased. New javelin unlocked. Sweet. Interceptor. Interceptor is the uh, the melee combo character. Got some new weapons. Yeah, I can now carry two weapons. The launch bay, forge, and Fort Tarsus. What's the launch bay? Oh, that's the social thing. You know, if I've got to kill the game to, to sound back, or I guess I... Oh, I believe you do. If you want to, go ahead and do it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. All right, while we're waiting on crabs, taking on a little bit of a toy, this is the social area. Um, they didn't initially have plans to have a social hub, but people kind of demanded it. Uh, it's pretty, I mean, it's, it's small, but it's here. That's, people, what, I, that's <laughs> what I tell the girls. <laughs> you can go into your forge and customize. Your suit. It looks like there's going to be some kind of merchants here. What do we got? There's the vault. And I've got to start the game again because it starts with only purple color. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is the forge. So, now I've got Interceptor, Ranger, Storm. Storm is the wizard one that I mentioned. Ranger is the all-around 
common fighter, good balance. Interceptor is the scout, the faster of the bunch, and the Colossus, the heavy armored mofo. Uh, I'm going to unlock the storm. But I'm going to continue to use the Colossus for now. Oh yeah, I forgot Warframe is also this game too. Yeah, Warframe, uh, which is actually something that I plan on streaming a lot uh, yeah. on the second half of my... I would try that one out, Lucci. It is free to play as all, and is a very good game. I am headless currently, and I didn't want to switch All to right. Storm. But I, get, you know what? Since I'm playing on the lower be... level stuff with y'all, I can actually work on my storm. Yeah, it should be invitable now. We gotta find my way back to the forge to see if I can equip a second. The walking around you do in the area is just the control. Oh man, it's so. T <laughs> I guess they do that to make the javelin seem cooler, but I don't. Alright, I'm headed to Fort Tarsus, and then uh, Agile Warframe looks similar to this game, yeah. I mean, it is exosuits again, you know. But Warframe has been around for a very, very, very long time, and is also free to play. They've been adding so much stuff to it. We'll definitely be doing some Warframe streams. I should have brewed myself some coffee. I dropped the ball. All right, I'm going to shoot you an invite. Oh, my goodness. My friends uh, are super high level on this game. All I found that last round was sniper rifles, so I guess I'm taking. <laughs> Actually, let me switch my We're weapons up. Miss that invite if it came. I'm. Hold on a second. Now here's where it gets fun. Time to make a statement. The game forces HDR on me, but the origin interface doesn't work that way, so it's hard to see. They really thought this one through. Level six frag grenade. To equip my assault rifle. I guess I don't have any components. Oh wait, yeah, I do. Heat capacity is up. And ammo capacity is up. Support seal. Wind wall. Creates a wall of wind at a set position that blocks projectiles. That is nice. Blast seal. Dawn, lightning strike. And then focus seal. Frost shard. Sweet. Oh yeah, we've got a... It looks like Google did, um, or not even Google, but Samsung did the reveals of a ham, handful of different devices, some hardware. You can go to shacknews.com so you can catch up on all that wonderful stuff that has been revealed as of today. It's about time for me to get a new phone. Give me a Pixel. What phone do you have right now, Krabs? I have an LG V30. For me with that one. I'm shooting you to invite now. All right, I think I'm exiting the forge now. By the way, it still says a fisherman tail. Oh, I thought it updated. That's my fault. No, no, no. I got it now. I got it. I know what I didn't change. Your underwear. That. Boom shakalaka. All right. All right, I'm going to pick another expedition. 
what freelancers do. Protect Arcanist, Arcanist, Arcanist as they conduct seismic tests. Bam. Wait for you to ready up, sir, and then we can rock and roll. Okay, I'm in some sort of... It's put me in an FMV, and I don't know how to get out of it. Okay, I can let you finish that up, then. Paper. No, you can finish that up. Uh, you're in the early I parts. I don't, I don't think, see it. <laughs> I don't think you can get out of that. Some things you can escape to skip, and some lines of dialogue, it won't let you do that. All right, so how do I... How do I get to where I ready up? Okay, you're out of the video? I need to get in the uh, javelin to talk to you, probably. Start expedition. Well, I... Okay, now we're ready. Now I can ready up. Mm -hmm. Unless I move the mouse, then it automatically unready. That's weird. Because that's helpful. And the screen just went completely purple, so that's... It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Frostbite bug that they fixed back with Battlefield 1, and it comes back up in every new Frostbite game on the... and takes them forever to fix. Had a problem with Madden for a while, too, and uh, Battlefield 5. Ass erect Andromeda. Let's see if we can keep some Arcanists alive, yes? Freelancer Wright has begun her patrol. This is Wright? Where the man says, I'm on my way. Let's see what we can do, Wright. Get this tweet out real quick. You can rock and roll. All right, it's gonna be interesting playing with the storm. Hey, over here. Oh, you guys are there? I forgot I gotta stay. I'm sorry. Up. Seismic indicator is ready to go. Okay. Seismic indicator is ready to go. I'm under a shelter and it's still raining. Why? Make sure these audio logs are distorted as hell so you can't understand. Wild animals incoming. You see every time. So angry. Oh my goodness. My goodness, my storm is squishy. Storm can stay up in the air for a long time. Oh, it's also raining. Tests are done. They got through okay, you know. Good. Go to the next group. I will make sure these archivists get back safe. Storm's not bad. Signatures in the area. 
Ooh, that was pretty cool melee move. Damn it. That scar heavy yet. All right, so the ultimate for the storm is outrageous. As you summon down massive uh, fire, lightning, or ice attacks. I'm gonna alternate between them. Catching up to you, crap. What? Chicken butt. Where am I supposed to go? You follow the little signal at the top of the screen. Another teammate found it. A camp. You see? Yes. And it's gonna be a fight. Look at them all. I don't like this. I don't either. A turret. Uh, and look at their numbers. Yes, I'm getting acquainted with both. I was curious how high I could go. Pretty high. Save myself. I haven't heard from Wright in a while. Too many dangerous scars in the area. This is bad business. Lightning combo breaker. That was weird. Killed the thing, but then it was not dead and it ran away. Is that? Yes, it is. What? Who? That big scar. 
Junk more. A break. Known to work with many bad people. I'll see what I can do. We did it. Take that jump more. Let's see about those arcanists. There you go. You're okay. I can't thank you enough. I wasn't sure what was going to happen before you got here. Dude, your butt's real tight. Only cuts and yeah. Storm is super bad. I mean, it's so tight that it's got like an arch at his back. We have saved them. Right, you see any stars in your area? Freelance are right. Uh oh. You get over there. You hear me? I hear you. Send old loyalty. Cool. All right, nearing the objective, where we must locate freelancer Wraith, whose comms just went out. I need to get the fuck out of here. Uh, I'm down. Yeah, I can't be running in here so quickly like I do with my Colossus. Yeah, I'm running away. <laughs> Alright, I'm respawning now. I went in there way too hot. I paid the price. Oh my goodness, this loading for respawn takes a while. I should have just waited for y'all. Okay, he's gonna transport me to where y'all are. Sweet. All right, I'm back. To save the day. Scars never get this close to Fort Tarsus. They aren't kidding around. Oh my goodness. That was rough. I'm down again. I have to wait. Oh, and the game defaults to the hardest difficulty, by the way. Don't know if you knew that, Krabs. I don't know anything. <laughs> You did it. Yeah, there's no sign of the archivists or right. Search the area, find them. Campsite. 
Ooh, can I go over this wall? Nope. Too high. Storm effects, pretty nice. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how y'all got to where y'all went. You yeah, in a tunnel? This is gonna teleport me there because I'm lost. Oh, wait, nope, found it. Steven Blomkamp, thank you for joining the Shagnus family with the follow, sir. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the stream this as well. Hurt. That got hurt? Alright, let me get my wall up. Can't help it, Steven. I can't help it. All right, disaster time. Explosion. Found them. Everybody's a little hangs out that alive. Nothing got past right. She'll be okay. Damn right. <laughs> Blom camp. I think he played Anthem, but he uninstalled it already. Are you gonna come back and play some Anthem, Steven? Mission completed. Great success. Yay, we did it. We did. We did the thing. For the next hour and a half, do you want to switch over to Apex or you want to do a little bit more Anthem? How are you feeling about your Javelin so far? Uh, I have no idea. You just tell me what to do and I'll... Stone. Hey, buddy. Let's do another mission, then we can switch to Apex. Hey. Hey, puppy. Get him. Come on. Up on stream. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hello, everybody. Say hello to Stone. This is my boy. He's what a, a good boy. He is such a good boy. He is the best boy. He's been back here relaxing. I only played the beta. I refuse to subscribe to Premiere Basics, so I have to wait till the 21st, like the rest of the unwashed plebs. It's all good. Nobody loves you. Stone loves you. You're right, big boy. My streaming partner. My my second streaming partner. Charles, your dog is totes adorbs. Thank you. Thank you very much. They said you're adorable. Totes adorbs, specifically. Big boy. And that was from Drizzle King, so you know he means it. Mm-hmm. What's up here? All right, Blomkamp, I'll be holding you to it. Are you free to play Apex with us? Because we could use a third. You or Slayer Bill. That'd be pretty sweet. Talk to this lady. It isn't my favorite freelancer. I hear you've been busy. I try. Oh, you do not want me on your team? I do, Steven. I do, actually. You make me better than, than I actually am. You, com you complete me. Before it's home, I protect it. I've already done this conversation. Before it's home, gotta look out for it. No argument here. It's good you settled in. Not everyone does. I'm guessing Fortosis wasn't in your plans before. Well, the heart of rage. 
and didn't know what would happen then or where I'd land up. Uh, Steven, I'm, I'm open to you playing with us. I played with Mike last night, and he is a pacifist. So imagine playing a battle royale with a pacifist when a firefight breaks out. I think I could play with anybody at this point. Today, the fort's home. He legitimately oh, hid until he was yes. in the top three after we died. Try not to think beyond it. The others of us. The fort wasn't my plan either. I was on a strider out of Helios. Thought I'd make my fortune in hunting. What happened? Cataclysm. Cataclysm. I'm really curious to see what those are like too. Survivors were brought here. Takes one second for everything to change. Doesn't it though? I love playing with Mike. That way, no one gets to see how bad I am in combat. <laughs> so you just hide the entire time. Got it. it definitely keeps you busy. Uh, when is the Shack review of this going up? Anthem? Um, it already went up. Yeah, I think it already. It's either up already or it's very soon. But I think it's up already. I can give you my review. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I've not played much, so that I wouldn't put any weight into anything. I'm so sorry. You've been in ambush. Your husband. No, no. It did. Daily trials, weekly trials, monthly trials. Let's see what these daily trials are about. After last night, I spent a lot of time laying in bed, looking at the ceiling, and thinking about dirt rap. Yeah, man. That's I, a I watched movie. a little bit of that stream. It looked really good, dude. I'm a garbage driver, but that game is, is magic. <laughs> Nothing trials. Man, is a lot better than my expectations. You know what, Blomkamp? On your new computer, this is probably not going to run anyway. Blom, uh, Steven hooked himself up with a lovely RTX rig. Oh, he needs to get Metro. Yeah, he definitely needs to get Metro. Because that looked so good. And by the way, Krabs, I'm probably going to upgrade it to RTX myself. 2060. Nice. Yeah, I've um, seen they've had some pretty good deals uh, around lately. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the Gigabyte one uh, for 349 mm -hmm, Pretty good. Is it uh, one of their OC or... Uh, I, I need to join my. I'm sorry, I'm holding this back by not being. No, no, no. I was trying to find a person to talk to in Fort Tarsus anyway. I'm supposed to speak to Yaro, but I've got like so many icons on my screen right now. Yeah, this game my is compass. kind of visually dense in every way. All right, so that to Yaro. City's got Metro, but he's holding it off till the weekend so yeah. he can fully commit to going super spooky. He's probably going to be naked while playing. Which, with an RTX card and Metro's visuals, that's understandable. He also has Battlefield. He plays Battlefield a lot. Mm -hmm. So he's, There's a game I was sexually attracted to until I realized how much DICE doesn't like me. Oh, he's naked. I believe it. It's liberating. It's got to be rough with uh, your cat always around. Ugh, cats creep me out. Now, I waffles, never, waffles, I never waffles one near my out. Pouch. Waffles is like the one of the top cats in the world, and she is our me and mm -hmm. my girlfriend's adopted daughter. All right, Start well, expedition. If pouch is out. I'm still gonna be apprehensive around. <laughs> the top cat. I almost said the top cat, but I don't know, man. Mazzy and Smidgen are pretty incredible. But Waffles is up there. Waffles is like a celebrity you spend cat. time with during the week? I mean, I've got two. I've got two You make here. it sound like this is sex in the city and you go out <laughs> with all your cat friends. Cats in the city. Expedition mission. I don't I don't have one. XXX cat boy 420XXX. Is that you? <laughs> that, that's totally me. All right, so I don't have any quests. All right, I need to go get a quest. Plus, Waffles also has her own um, Instagram, so she's pretty legit. It's better than I can say. I don't have an Instagram. You don't want to show everybody that beautiful mug? 
No, I don't think anyone wants to see it or anything I've been or whatever else is you do on Instagram. <laughs> I like to keep my whole ship private. Huh, understandable. That's why you can find me on Twitter at whatever my Twitter is. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter, the underscore CSJR, because I'm on there all the time. Yeah, you got that hot Twitter. No, you're waiting for me. Patience. So no, no rush, no rush. I know you. You're the hot shot who silenced that shaper thing, yeah? <laughs> I keep an ear to the ground. Best way to oh, Steven, you can jump into the uh, chat. We're in the Discord um, in Arcadia. Yeah, talk to us. Yeah, come chat with us, dude. You're the owner. Let us hear that caper. Got it off Dusty in a game of oh, my door is closed. Smidge is probably like outside the door wanting to get in and want love. Uh, well, I'm in. Your friend Steve. Oh yeah, we would definitely want to hear. Can we put a headset and a mod mic on that cat? <laughs> you want a bar and a card game? You must have phenomenal luck. I got contacts and a healthy survival. I'm speaking with somebody that won a bar and a card game. A, a bar. A bar, an entire bar. Wow. So they have to pay taxes on it and stuff now. <laughs> he was on a slider to Antium with the governor, and it went down. Some say accident. Some say a hit. Nobody made it back, and the black box... Stone, what do you feel? How do you feel about all this anthem business? Dusty owed a lot to the wrong people. I wish I could show you him right now. I mean, I could. Not really worth the trouble, you know what I mean? How come there's not, like, a computer version of Nintendogs that we could be playing on? People think this place is cursed. Or do they still make those games? I'm not up on them <laughs> on Nintendo. They needed Nintendogs. Oh, you get to see Stone get to scratching. I don't I know if I don't think this is the Shack Discord. I'm not 100 percent sure. I no, it's not the Shack. It's Arcadia. You've been in the Arcadia one. You know, I've had enough trouble as it is. You'll be fine. It only gets owners and diamond dashes, and I may be lying about the last one. You're doing good work around here, freelancer. And if there's something you need, Anthem would impress me more if there was some sort of way to order food and stuff okay. that would show up in real life. <laughs> There needs to be an Arby's button somewhere in this UI with all the other thousand buttons. An Arby's button would be dope right now. I'm yeah. actually pretty hungry. As soon as I finish the stream, I'm getting food. Real, real food. All right, I just uh, messaged you in Discord. He said it's locked. Oh, yeah. Channel, jump, yeah, yeah jump, streaming. jump. No, no, no. Jump into another voice channel and I'll drag you into it. He doesn't have top board privileges yet. And I do. Yes, you do. Wow. I feel honored. Nice to meet you. I'll, make, I'll make you an honorary TeamSpeak uh, admin next time you're <laughs> Why would you willingly invite me to your, to your public stream, considering what a disaster I am? Why do you consider yourself such a disaster? I don't know. It's just how I feel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for the invite. You're very, very welcome. Thank you for joining us. Everyone, this is Steven Blonkamp, former game developer, future world dominator. <laughs> I'm still getting used to not working. You don't even know. You, didn't you not work when you were working? Uh, yeah, I guess. Sort of a little <laughs> bit like that. So, how you ended up not working on account of you're not working when you were Uh, no, I just, I needed, I needed, I was, I was a weird mix of burnt out and needing more stuff to do, so... Fair enough. I decided, I decided to take a break to to do nothing and also do more, if that makes any sense. <laughs> do more of the things that uh, you that, that couldn't quite pay the bills that you wanted to do before, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Bills are uncool. One hundred percent. And they expect so, you to pay them every month. What kind of douchey nonsense is that? <laughs> so give me, give me, give me the official. Uh, Charles opinion of this game I received, um, I received the uh, don't use words just, one. Use, just use noises yeah guttural noises please <laughs> that's, that's there you go that's my review sometimes Next. a grunt says a thousand words <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm worried about this game. 
I mean, I don't know that we're far enough in it to make a, an honest uh, objective yeah. opinion. Point. I won't well, really have a full you. opinion until I reach the the uh, the end game, which is my biggest concern. Um, so what exactly I'm realizing saying that though. Oh yeah, for sure. But I mean, there are a lot of people that had some some takes on this game that weren't very well informed. Okay. I'll say that much. Um, I mean, I, I, I got into a, a debate about something in Anthem on Twitter only to find, to realize that the person hadn't even finished the demo. And they and they had this whole take on uh, a part of the design that they hadn't even encountered yet. So, so you think you're better than them? Uh, I think I had a more informed opinion at that time. Mm-hmm. For sure, absolutely. Um, it's too easy for people to see stuff on social media and take it and run with it. But the, the game has issues, uh, which was what was frustrating about that conversation because I'm like, we could actually be having a conversation about things that, that are actually an issue instead of this made-up thing that you haven't even experienced before or haven't experienced yet. I'm going to talk to one more person and jump into the expedition. But, Steven, since you're in here, you're now on the hook for Apex Legends. Sorry. No, that's, I'm actually working right now, so I can't, I can't join you. No, you're not employed. You don't, li- you don't lie to me. <laughs> Charles, it's 2019. You're supposed to ask for consent. <laughs> but only this year, though. someone into your, your part. You won't find a better partner than me. Are you doing some uh, painting? I'm, uh, yeah, working on that. Well, not painting yet, but uh, working on the Twitch over there for the painting stream. <laughs> <laughs> Journalist subliminal bars. Uh, definitely subliminal. You might have even seen that conversation on Twitter when everyone was going down. But thank you, Balvin. Thank you for checking out the stream. We appreciate you jumping in here for a moment. Also, you should uh, you should pimp your stream here so the folks can check it out once you go. Uh, pimp it. I should pimp it. Someone should pimp it. You been on social media again? Because I've, oh, I've I'm, been tweeting it out a lot. Oh, I was in, referring to the stream he was talking about making the overlay for. or the. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll see if I can get it working, and then uh, then I'll then I'll, I'll pimp it out. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I'm just I'm just a huge nerd. So I'm, I'm uh, like the rest of us. So I'm, uh, I've got the Resident Evil 2 board game arriving soon. Mm-hmm. So I'm just uh, gonna do a stream where I paint because there's like there's like 80 miniatures or something in that thing. So I'm just gonna 80 miniatures, and you're gonna. I think so. There's something. There's a whole bunch of really nice miniatures in that game. So I'm gonna just. I've made like a Resident Evil 2 looking 3D Twitch overlay, and I'm gonna with like four cameras and stuff, and I'm just gonna paint. I wanted to link it to some sort of charity, but I, I can't really find anything thematically appropriate. Because I, I mean, I could link it to any charity, but I feel like people will only really jump on that if they, if it's like something like board games for kids or something like that. Or people that have been eaten by zombies. Oh yeah, zombie survivors. <laughs> Very short-lived tra- uh, charity. What about? Is there a charity for people to chicken to play Resident Evil too, like me? <laughs> Dude, I quit that game within like an hour and had to watch Tegan play it. Seriously? Yeah, I'm. I mean, dude, I'm just as scared as you when it comes. To, I mean, I'm a little bit less scared. Like I've yeah, because you played purchased it games. and played it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the insight on cycling. Yeah. So when you get these board games with the miniatures, do you get a discount if they come unpainted or how does? Uh, no, no. Well, it seems like they pull one over on you then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's funny. Like I, I. I've only just started playing board games. I used to just buy them just to paint the miniatures. So I don't think they've uh, they've successfully pulled on over, but it doesn't feel like it to me. <laughs> Got it. No, I'm all about getting them if they getting somebody else to paint them or them already being painted. I don't I don't have the steady hand for it. My my hands are terrible. Hi, freelancer. But the people that do I it, know. I appreciate you. I don't think I've ever played a real board game. I don't associate much with freelancers, you say you don't think you've ever played a real one? I, mean, well, I, I like playing know. Sorry, but I don't know that it counts, and those pieces already come painted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Yes. Oh, well, tabletop gaming is amazing. 
We need to, we need to get a tabletop back, game stream. I once played King of Tokyo with a group of friends. So I guess okay. that, that counts. That's, that's, that's the name of the game. Yeah. All right, so Sentinel Brynn has heard about an unusual level of scar activity at an Arcanist base. Investigate it. All right, let's do it. I got a quest for us to do, finally. Finally! Once I had some buddies oh, bam, what up? to play oh, Arkham Horror with them on Google Plus video chat. Dude, I, wanna, I want to do that, actually. I watched it for 30 minutes or so, and then I was Homer Simpson backing into the show. <laughs> Alright. Crab's yeah, ready. Oh, damn it. Dense. I switched to Ford. Yeah, I believe they played lots of games uh, that way until the Steam uh, tabletop thing came out that facilitated maybe a better interface. Oh, yeah. Um, tabletop or that, simulator. That copyright infringement simulator. Copyright, <laughs> yeah. I was wondering about that. <laughs> I still need to check that out properly. It's probably the only way that a lot of these games are ever going to see, uh, you know, remote play type offering. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm about to ready up. Oh, okay. welcome to the stream. Thank you for checking it out. Shout out to the people still lurking. After we do this next mission for Anthem, we're going to switch to some Apex Legends so y'all can see us actually, absolutely dominate the competition. Dominating. I'll play hot drops with, with hot boys. And we're going to be blessed by the wonderful developer, Stephen Blomkamp, Blomkamp, a.k.a. the other Blomkamp. The other, yeah, the famous <laughs> one. The, the famous one. <laughs> Walk, what up, man? What up, Sky? It's been a long time, sir. But yeah, fire, fire, baby blue and pink. I said at the beginning of the stream, you know, I got to aggro all the enemies. So uh, Walk, why not do it with this beautiful color scheme? It's been a while. See, Walt hasn't been in the stream for a while, but Coins to Continue, the podcast is back this week. So I, I feel like mm -hmm. that, that lines up. I think that's when he comes around. A Eagle and Daffron. Why is my mind running up? in slow motion? Why, why is your what running in slow motion? I feel like Discord is making my Maya hang. Maybe you don't have enough RTX. Yeah, yeah, my, my <laughs> brand new beast computer can't run 3D software, apparently. Yep. Been a minute. Glad to be back. Hey, it's glad to have you back, man. And we're on a I regular schedule. Problem now, with a review PC. Man, you had a lot of problems with that review PC. I'm Including not going to lie, the first, night, the first night it was in the house, I decided to sleep here in the room and stare at those 2080 TIs through the window. <laughs> I'll probably never ever have that amount of video card in front of me. <laughs> At least not in real life. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the mix and I got my Colossus this time because I, I got tired of being so squishy. Can I shoot a bird? Can I shoot the bird? Can I shoot the bird? I wonder if at any point during this game will the verticality uh, provided by the jetpacks come into uh, the combat, or is it just from going from one area to the other? Man, I, I wondered the same. I, I hope it. I hope it comes into play, because if you give us an area where it's like raining heavily and you're constantly cooled, you can maintain you know air combat for a long time. Mm -hmm. We should have all our fights under a waterfall. Yeah. So of the three javelins, which ones are you doing the most? Um, I haven't used the interceptor yet, but I really like the storm and the colossus. Uh, what's the what's this? I can't even remember. I played the demo. I remember what's the default one called? Ranger. 
Ranger. That one's just no good. I mean, it's cool. It's just I felt like it was the default one, so when I got other options, I immediately switched to something else. Mm. I heard the Colossus feels weaker than expected. In what regard? I don't know. People, people are describing it as like not as sort of chunky as they'd want it to be, sort of tanky. All of them? Or no. something that big? Oh, it should Colossus. be extra chunky. Yeah. Chunk, chunk. The Colossus is weird because it doesn't have a standard energy shield like the others. It has a physical shield that you have to put up. So it's like you can't you can't shoot and defend at the same time. Uh, okay, interesting. Yeah. So it forces you to, you know, aggro enemies and just focus on defense. How do you refresh your physical shield? Uh, it does so, I think, on a timer, just like the energy shield would. That's I just cool want to, I just want to shout out to uh, Mobabo, mm -hmm. Mobab Zero, for uh, I, I just want to say I hate you for putting that song in my head. Oh, Thank waterfalls! You. DLC, <laughs> DLC reference. Asshole. <laughs> Thank well, you for that. When he's bit. here, he's used to a streaming about uh, the rivers and the lakes that he's used to. <laughs> uh. Where are y'all? I don't know. Because I can't take this guy down by myself, actually. I'm over here fighting the other 72 guys. Help take him down. Because I keep getting his shield down, but it, re it reloads so fast. Scout down. To the next, on, on to the next one. What is this a link in the title? Link's Awakening? A link to the past, actually. You had a homework assignment to play through the game for the first time. He's nearing the end, I believe.
I just got awarded Weapon Master, 100 XP. I guess I'm basically the best. <laughs> you are the best. Headed that way. I can work with it. Well, there's one near you. Good place to hide stolen machinery. I'll find it and head in. I would hope so, yes. I understand right. we're like in the year 4972. Why are all the communications so distorted? <laughs> That's the one place that they couldn't improve things. I guess. I mean, lore-wise, their technology and advancements are kind of all over the place. How can I, I mean... expect it to be clear about the lore if it sounds like it's coming through a broken CB? <laughs> the um, even Fort Tarsus looks like elements of it are so archaic versus the javelins. It's well, like the weird. Stuff, like it's like maybe it would make sense, I guess, if like they had a more futuristic well, okay. society. The, in cities and stuff like that, they got destroyed. Uh, that totally could be the case, and I just haven't been paying attention. Steven, you didn't get a chance to see any of the uh, Fisherman's Journey or Fisherman's Tale stream, did you? Sorry, Fish what? Fisherman's Tale. The uh, VR stream that we did before we started playing Anthem. Uh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, man. I've seen the short, but I haven't seen anything streamed about it. Uh... Was it good? It was very good. Very, very, very good. I think you would... I mean... Oh, wait, for the I'm people that... the wrong thing. I'm thinking of the Google Google tilt brush short. Fisherman's Tale is the one with the the cool scale mechanics and stuff, right? The yes, yes. Game. Yeah, yeah. I really need to check that out. Yeah. Because being that you were, you know, VR dev, it would have been interesting to get your perspective on the things that were happening. Uh, I remember just before I left Cloud, everyone was very excited about that game. It's like, yeah, yeah. finally, someone else is doing adventure. Like. That sort of genre. Yeah. Quality adventure. I finally did. I'm coming. Who is this guest? He's Steven Blomkamp. I'm a developer. You want to tell them a little bit more about yourself? Um, hi. Uh, he has a cat. I'm, That's amazing. I have That's an amazing cat. Oh, that is my claim to fame. I'm also the the only Blomkamp of note. <laughs> there are no others. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a VR dev currently taking a break to make a board game. And that's about it, I think. Charles <laughs> tells me you're a pretty good kisser. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, fantastic. E3 was a highlight meeting Charles. Yeah. Yep. Established that fact. <laughs> Yeah, I used to work for Clouded Games on the Gallery series, if anyone's yep, played yep. that. Or all four people who have VR, if you've played that. Yeah. I played it! I haven't finished it, but I played it. I once had VR, but my head is too big, so I'm waiting for it to get big. <laughs> Not my head, but the VR. <laughs> Charles, I Man. just want to point out how long have we been friends for, and you, ha you haven't finished the games I've worked on. Hey, I only just now got enough space to not hit the fan when I'm playing VR. Relax. 
and that was actually one of the first things I did once I got a set up was uh, run the gallery. Well, I I've read some of your articles on Czech News, but I haven't. No, you haven't. Them. You lie. <laughs> I I do actually read them. It's okay. He treats me like garbage too. <laughs> In order to repair this friendship, you have to play the very first game I ever worked on, which is, I guess, what they would do to prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> what game was Lego, this? Lego Friends 3DS. Oh boy. That was the first it game you worked on? Fun. Oh my goodness. It was, it was a humbling experience. <laughs> Damn it. Right. No. Mobab says, I have a Vive at home for a few months, but I haven't really used it much for gaming. What you been yeah. using it for, buddy? Porno. Pro prom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to make that work before I sent mine back. So, R.I.P. Everything was like... I had to look at my own cry. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to be that immersed, huh? Well, that, it just hurt. It hurts your face. <laughs> it's not VR anyway. It's it's like 360 video. Basically. Yeah. I'm getting wrecked right now. I just thought when the moment I logged in, it would be like an eyes wide shut party, and instead it was <laughs> pixelated video where the lady was like behind my crash. Uh. I don't know. Uh, Beat Saber was pretty cool. Beat Saber is yeah. amazing. Yep, agreed. Beat Saber is amazing, but I'm already kind of sick of everyone trying to make a Beat Saber. But... Clone, like. Yeah, I saw an announcement that uh, somebody was working on one. You talking like about harmonics doing Autica? Say what? Harmonics with their Autica release? It probably was that one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't mind them doing that because that's their shtick. But like yeah. every other company trying to also make a like get in on that rhythm thing is like, no, just just find you do you kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the middle already. Steven, yeah. Steven is sending subliminal messages out into the ether. <laughs> I don't even know why we switched over to insects right now. Crabs, I can't tell anything of what's happening in the game. I have no idea what's going on. Dev with Unity stuff, top secret. Is it a Beat Saber Unity game? Yeah, can I chastise you? <laughs> I mean, you cloud it. Oh, sorry, Karen. No, no, go ahead. I, what I was going to say was not cool. <laughs> oh, dear. Speaking of clouded, I might actually temporarily have to go back to help wrap up some stuff. I was talking to them yesterday, so I, mean, I might not be unemployed for much longer for a bit. We can't talk about any of the stuff that y'all had in development, can we? Nope. 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 nope well, nope. knowing what y'all did with the gallery, I'm sure it's something cool. Oh, it's super cool. I just uh, I thought it was finished, but it's not. It needed the special bomb camp touch. <laughs> So, your former studio, are they soliciting ideas? Because I've got a winner. Nice working with you, too. You can, yeah, you can, you can at Denny Cloudhead. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna I want to know the here. idea. So, there's a game where you just sit around like a, you know, a table, just like in a house like you normally would, or you just, you know. Nobody's really sure what's going on. You're either enjoying dinner or your own private evening or whatever else. And then just mm -hmm. bam, the wall gets knocked over and the Kool-Aid man comes through, but it seems real because like you're in VR. And it's just a bunch of different rooms where you never know when you're going to get busted in on. Perfect. Can it, can it be an escape room where if you don't escape, he comes through? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you need to get off, man. I like this idea. Somebody at least needs to recreate that in VR. Like... Not even tell oh, people yeah. what it is. That's the best part. No one can know what it is. Yeah. If you know it's coming, it loses the effect. Oh, 100%. It would scare the shit out of me. It could be the finger in the butt of VR. 
Because <laughs> every, every bit of gaming needs a that finger in the That would be right? the credit quote I would want on my box if I made a game. I, I, I feel like Devolver would be down to do that. 